Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. Today I'm going to be making another very easy dessert using an ice cream. Since it's the festive season, it's time to eat a lot of desserts. First I'm going to just do some mizam plus. I should fine chop my green apples. I'm just going to chop up the rest. Now, take a bowl and I put all of this inside it. I chop green apple. Put in my ice cream. Some condensed milk. Not too much since it's already really sweet. Condensed milk is delicious. Bring on the sweetness. Bring on the desserts. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, since obviously you can see the ice cream is, is a little bit runny, we're going to put this and let it set and then I'll show you a demo of what we will be doing once the ice cream has set. Take some of that, put it in the center. watching guys as you have seen this is a very simple recipe and it looks pretty beautiful for something that's so simple so please do try this at home and keep watching desi bites for more fun and easy recipes coming your way do not forget to like subscribe and comment in the comment section below i will see you in another fun episode with another easy recipe till then you take care hi everyone and welcome to desi bites Today I'm going to be making a grilled cheese sandwich. Normal bread I'm using a bun. So we'll cut this in half first. Okay, we'll with heat on the lowest, we'll toast the buns a little bit. Add butter. This butter is melted. Just gonna add my bun. Make sure it's coated nicely on both sides of the butter. Make sure it's coated nicely with butter on both sides so you can get just toast it slightly and then we'll start adding the cheese. You we'll can also make this in a griller, a sandwich griller, but then there's no fun. This is how you should make your grilled cheese. Now the best way to go about a grilled cheese is to put it on low heat so that your cheese melts properly inside and your and the bread is also properly toasted and not burnt. So we're gonna add some grated cheddar. So it gives a nice flavor, which is why I'm adding just some parmesan on top of the cheddar. I want to put this and press and just let it go. On slow flame so the cheese also melts and the buns also melt. Toast it properly, that's what we're going for you. Totally delicious, very simple to execute and full of calories. It's not the best thing if you want to go on a diet. Our grilled cheese is ready, it's done. Thank you guys for watching, like, subscribe and share Desi Bites and I will see you in another episode with another easy recipe. Till then, you guys take care and see you all. Hi everybody and welcome to Desi Bites. Since the festive season is on, I have some very easy desserts for you to make at home. This is called the Frozen Alaska.
Now, first you get a bowl. Take some uh, vanilla ice cream. Then some condensed milk. This is a very rich dessert as you can see. Just mix that together. Then I'm going to add Oreo cookies. I've got the chocolate flavor. So I've crushed them from one side. You can use a cream flavored ones. I'm just using the chocolate ones because the store didn't have any cream flavored. You can always add some more. So I'm a little generous with my Oreo. Once you've got this done, take a fancy glass for Oreo. Make sure in this fancy glass. Now to top this off, I'm going to crush some walnut. Let them, you know, sink inside. And now in the freezer to set and your dessert is ready. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that simple recipe and do try this at home because it is very tasty. And uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and do not forget to comment on Desi Bites. I will see you in another fun episode. Till then, you take care. See you. Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. Today I'm going to be making a pizza toast out of leftovers. We use bread, we use packaged pizza sauce, we have leftover seasoning, some cheese and just a little bit of herb for your hangover basically. So let's get started. Put some oil in the pan. Toss our garlic. Lightly brown the garlic. And then we'll add our pizza sauce. Slightly toss it with the garlic and then you just switch off the heat. Leave this here. Now let's get to the bread. So what we'll do is we'll cut off the sides. You could use these for breadcrumbs later on. Spread this out. It's a nice, easy, and delicious recipe for those times when you're lazy and you don't really want to cook. So, before goes the cheese slice, use the seasoning. And a little bit of white pepper. Use cheese slices because it's easier for this to melt in the oven. If you usually like grate cheese and do it, it'll take longer. But if you use this, it'll be quicker. So I'm going to pre, I'm going to put the oven to about 150. I'm going to put it for 10, but I will take it out as soon as the cheese melts. So the cheese has melted. So I'm going to take this out now. And let's cut it to a pizza toast. cheese so I'm just going to chop some fresh parsley to put this on top nothing is complete without a little bit of olive oil Pizza toast is
perfect food when you're lazy and you want to eat a pizza you don't want to order food this is what you should be making so guys do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like and do not forget to comment in the comment section below i will see you in another fun episode with another easy recipe till then you take care see you Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. I am Chef Pranav Kapoor and today I'm going to be making a jaljeera. Which is good for your stomach for a hangover and just generally a very refreshing drink. For that I have mint leaf. This is my personal take on a jaljeera. Throw in mint leaves in the cocktail shaker. We have some chaat masala. We'll throw that in. Two pinches of it. Around 20 ml of lime juice and some crushed cumin or jeera powder. Two pinches of that. Then add some soda. About 100 ml and the same for lemonade. A little bit of ice, and we are ready to go. So, guys, shake it up a little bit, or you can muddle it up in your cocktail shaker. Throw in a few mint leaves for garnish, and pour in your. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to add some chaat masala on top of it. And also a little bit of jeera masala, crushed jeera. Jal jeera, fresh take on it, ready to serve. Hmm. Do try this at home and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Desi Bites. This is me Chef Pranav telling you to have a great day ahead. See you. Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. I am Chef Pranav Kapoor and I'm going to be doing the basic scrambled egg today for all of you. I'm going to make this with 3 eggs. A classic basic scrambled egg. So my 3 eggs have gone in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some fresh cream. So you can add cream or if you have full creamed milk you can add some of that. For 3 eggs I've used about 60 ml of cream and now some salt. We'll whisk all this together again, clockwise motion. So now I'm going to heat the pan and I'm going to add butter to the pan, spread it around evenly. And as soon as the butter melts, just pour in the eggs mixture. So first, what you do is 20 seconds you let the mixture sit, increase the heat slightly. 20 seconds in, we start folding the eggs with the butter. If your eggs are cooking too quickly, just reduce the heat a little bit. You do not want to overcook these eggs because they're supposed to be runny. And then you fold again, and then you let it rest. Runny scrambled eggs will cook really quickly. If you go any further, they'll start sticking together, and it won't have a nice texture to it. Here it is, a scrambled egg. This is what the cream does. to a scrambled egg makes it nice and rich now i'm going to season it with some white pepper just a slight bit of salt again on the top
Hope you like this recipe. Please do try it at home. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Desi Bites with me, Chef Pranav. I will see you in another fun episode. Till then, you have a good day. See you. What's up, guys? How are you all doing? Welcome to Desi Bites. Today, I'm going to be making you something from leftovers that I had. First things first, pan and some butter inside it. Once the butter has melted, add in the chopped garlic. This is a very simple recipe and a very very classic combination. There's butter, there's sage, there's chicken, there's parmesan, and there's some cream. So now that your garlic has toasted nicely, I'm going to add in the chicken and put in some more butter. Add a little bit of white wine. Once that has gone in, I'm going to throw in some cream. So once the cream is in, I'm going to throw in some sage. Salt. Some cracked black pepper. Parmesan cheese. And we are ready to serve this. I'm just going to quickly toast some bread in the same pan. We can never have enough of Parmesan. And there you have it. See what I've done with leftovers. That's what you can do if you have leftovers. Just combine a couple of ingredients. You can make something nice. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to Daisy Bites. I will see you in another episode. Take care, y'all. See you later. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. Today's recipe is penne arabiyat. First, I'm going to make the sauce. In goes olive oil. Once the oil is heated, put in some garlic. This is the simplest, no hassle, no frill recipe for it. So once it's slightly brown, the garlic, add in your tomato paste. Now you need to cook the tomatoes for a minimum of 15 to 20 minutes, not less than that. Usually I would like cook it for an hour, slow cook it for an hour. But since this is a quick recipe, you give it at least 20 minutes on the pan. Where you increase and decrease speed constantly, keep like adding water and cooking them further. So the tomatoes are cooking really well. What I'm going to do now is add the fresh basil to this. And some salt. The longer you cook your tomatoes, the tastier your sauce is going to be. So if you can give it an hour or so, just go for it. I'm going to add my pasta to this. Make some cheese in this itself so it melts in with the pasta instead of putting it on top. And this is done. And 
there you go. Pene Arabiata is ready to serve. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Do try this at home and come back to Desi Bites for more fun videos. Till then, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will see you in another fun episode. See you. Hello everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. I am Chef Pranav Kapoor and today I am going to be making a sunny side up, a half fried egg or a half done as it's known in different countries. First, I have a flat pan. I'm using olive oil because it's tastier and healthier. It's good for the heart. I'm just going to grease the pan with oil so that if the egg goes in any corner, it does not stick to the pan. And you can be generous with olive oil. It's only going to do you good. Set the pan on medium heat. You know, the oil will sometimes tilt to the side depending on the curvature of the pan, but make sure you grease it entirely because the egg will be all over the pan. The way I like to cook a sunny side up is keep it on very, uh, not very low, between low and medium heat so that the white is still nice and soft and doesn't really get very hard. And love a greasy fried egg. Keep dropping little bits of olive oil on it. So this is done. You can let it go as crispy as you want from below. I don't like it really brown. I like it to be a little softer. So this is the sunny side up that I like. Let me just show you. As you can see, very lightly brown. Not too much of uh, it being crispy or being fried underneath. The yolk, nice and runny. So I'm just going to like plate up this and it's the perfect breakfast the way I would like it. So try this at home and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Desi Bites with me, Chef Pranav. I will see you in another episode with another fun and easy recipe. Till then, you take care. See you. Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome to Desi Bites. For all you seafood lovers out there, today is going to be a really interesting episode because we are making prawn masala. You're going to heat oil in the pan. Now I'm going to add chopped onions. Toss them around till they turn slightly pink. When I'm going to add chopped garlic to the pan. So once the garlic is slightly brown, we're going to add of turmeric, some red chilli powder and some rye. We we'll add a little bit of oil to this. Once that is done, then I'm going to add the prawns. Coat them nicely with the onion and the garlic. Prawns won't take really long to cook. So halfway through, it'll take about seven minutes. From anywhere between five to seven min minutes, depending on the heat. So I'm going to add the salt right now itself. So 
some cracked black pepper. Don't keep cooking them too long because that will overcook the prawns and they would taste a bit rubbery and that would not be nice at all. A little coriander on top. Since this is prawn masala. And then last and favorite ingredient for this dish, some lime juice. Thank you so much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this simple yet delicious recipe. Do not forget to try it. Like I always say, hit like, subscribe and don't forget to comment in the comment section below. I will see you in another episode. Till then, you guys better take care. What's up guys? How are you all doing? Welcome to Desi Bites. Today I am going to be making you something from leftovers that I had. First things first, pan and some butter inside it. Once the butter has melted, add in the chopped garlic. This is a very simple recipe and a very very classic combination. There's butter, there's sage, there's chicken, there's parmesan and there's some cream. So now that your garlic has toasted nicely, I'm going to add in the chicken and put in some more butter. Add a little bit of white wine. Once that is gone in, I'm going to throw in some cream. So once the cream is in, I'm going to throw in some sage. Salt. Some cracked black pepper. Parmesan cheese. And we are ready to serve this. I'm just going to quickly toast some bread in the same pan. We can never have enough of Parmesan. And there you have it. See what I've done with leftovers. That's what you can do if you have leftovers. Just combine a couple of ingredients. You can make something nice. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to Daisy Bites. I will see you in another episode. Take care, y'all. See you later.